Alright, in this video I'm going to be looking at the 3D graphing app for the HP Prime. And I know that there's a lot of different 3D graphing apps out there for the HP Prime that are made by other people, but for this video I'm just going to be looking at the default app that comes preloaded on the HP Prime. And before I say anything more, I'm just going to put out there that, in my opinion, this app is not as good as it could be, and it's not nearly as useful as it could be. So all you have to do to get to the graphing app is just press the apps button and then go to graph 3D right there. And then you'll be taken to this screen. This is just like any other graphing app that you'd see on a calculator. You can just enter the functions that you want to graph and you can enter multiple functions at a time and you can have them all in the same graph or you can use these little check boxes right here to toggle the functions on and off. So the first ability that this app is sort of missing is the ability to graph any 3D function in any form. So what I mean by that is you have to put the function in the form z equals all on the left side and then everything else on the right side. So you couldn't just plug in, for example, y equals z plus x. You would have to solve for z and then plug in what z equals. And most of the time this isn't a problem, but there are some cases where you can't solve for z or where it's extremely hard to solve for z. And it would be nice to just be able to enter in a function with x, y, and z and have it graph that function um, no matter what. There are some websites, for example, that will do that. You can just type in any function and it will graph a function no matter what form it's in, but you can't do that on the HP Prime. You have to put it in z equals form. So what this also means is that you can't graph functions that don't involve the z axis. As you can see on the screen right now, I have gone to a website and graphed this function x squared, and you can see it's just a parabola in the xy plane, but that would be an example of something that you couldn't graph in the 3D graphing app. You could graph it on the regular graphing app on the HP Prime, but not in the 3D graphing app. And other functions like this that don't involve the z variable in the actual function. So right here I have graphed y equals x squared. Um, you can just see it's a parabola in the xy plane that extends up and down on the z axis. Um, you can't graph that on the HP Prime either using the basic 3D graphing app. So just keep that in mind. Those are a few things that it cannot do even though there are websites out there that will graph functions like those and functions that are in those forms. So, okay, when you finally want to graph a function, uh, I have four of them um, queued up here, but I'm just going to tap this to turn that function on, and then it'll only display that one. And here is what the actual graph looks like. This is a relatively simple 3D function. Uh, I can use the touch screen to pan around. Right now, it's very smooth. The... Um, Moving the graph back and forth is very smooth, there's no lag, and it works quite well. But in terms of usefulness, uh, this is about where it ends. You can't do much more than get a picture of the graph. Um, there is a trace function, however, I find it to be quite uh, useless because there's no way to, or no way that I know of, to input a z x or y value and then have it give you an output. So if I was trying to find the minimum of this function, for example, I would have to kind of guess and sort of tap. And as you can see, it's not very accurate. But once I put the cursor in a place, it'll give me the coordinates down here. But there's really no way to accurately tap on the screen and tell the calculator exactly where you want to put the cursor. So this is the menu right here, and as you can see, there's no functions that would allow you to do things like calculate the local maximum or local minimum or saddle point of a function. So that's one thing that's kind of disappointing that it's not there. Um, really, all you should expect to be able to do with this app is to get a nice picture of whatever function you graph. Any analysis will have to be done by hand on paper. Um, so the touch screen works great for looking at the graph, but something that's sort of missing is you can't zoom in and out using like your fingers to pinch. And it's kind of sad that that feature is missing because in order to change the viewing window, you have to go into this menu here and input the ranges of X and Y that you want to see. And most of the time, this isn't that big of a deal, but as you can imagine, you don't know exactly what a function is going to look like, and you graph it, and maybe you get a 
picture that's way too close in or way too far out and you can't really see the features of the function that well so you have to change the viewing window size but once you graph your function, you kind of have to go back into this window and guess what the right limits should be on the x, y, and z axes. So it's possible that you'll find yourself going back and forth from looking at the graph and then saying, oh no, that's not exactly what I want the function to look like. And then going back in here and changing the numbers in the menu and then going back. And it would be a lot more convenient if you could simply pinch to zoom in and out on the screen and find the proper uh, viewing size that way, but that is not a feature. And then also, you're probably not very often gonna be graphing multiple functions at once, but once you start to sort of pile them on here, uh, here I'm graphing four at once, the graph becomes a little bit less responsive. You can see there's quite a bit of lag here when I am just trying to pan around and inspect this graph. Do keep in mind though that the HP Prime is about as good as you're gonna get for processing speed in a calculator. So another thing you might find yourself wanting to do in a math class or something is find an equation for intersecting points of a graph. So here I have this original function that I graphed at first and then I have this function here which is just a plane at z equals five. So there is no way to, for example, find an equation of points where these two functions intersect. So if I wanted to find the equation of that ellipse right there, there is no way to do that using this calculator. So you'd have to do that by hand on paper. Um, just in general, like I said before, you really can't do that much analysis of the functions like you can in most other 2D graphing apps on graphing calculators. So that's it for this quick video. Hopefully you found that useful and let me know if you have any questions about the 3D graphing app that I did not cover in this video. Thanks for watching.